Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez was at an event on MLK Day with Ta-Nehisi Coates, and um, she said something that caught the eye of Democratic leadership and uh, centrists on Twitter. They weren't very happy with her. Let's see what she said. You know, in what you said earlier, too, I wanted to go back um, to what you said about our left party. We don't have a left party Mm. in the United States. Mm. The Democratic Party is not a left party. Mm -hmm. Um, the Democratic Party Mm. is a center or center conservative party. Mm. We do not advocate for, we do not, we can't even get a floor vote on Medicare for all. Mm -hmm. Not even a floor vote that gets Mm -hmm. voted down. Mm -hmm. We can't even get a vote on it. Mm -hmm. So this is not a left party. Mm -hmm. There are left members inside the Democratic Party Mm -hmm. that are working to try to make that shift happen. Mm -hmm. It's funny watching people get mad at something, which is unquestionably accurate. Because she's like, that's not even controversial. What she's saying to people who follow this stuff closely and really know about this stuff, you honestly file this under, duh. But people were mad. They were mad at her. Centrists were mad at her. The media was mad at her. They thought like, oh my God, this is is wild that anybody would say this. It's true. So, listen, I mean, we could, there's a million ways we could discuss this, okay? But let's just give a few points. So, one of them is the one that she made about Medicare for All. We can't even get a floor vote on it. We can't even get a floor vote on it. In polls, Democratic voters, over 80% of Democratic voters are like, yes, I support Medicare for All. When 80% of your voters take that left-wing position, and the leadership says, eh, don't care, not on the agenda, what other interpretation is there? If they're a center or center-right party, that's one interpretation. The other one is also, they're super corrupting <laughs> like mad corrupt. And, you know, the Democratic Party takes, various members of the Democratic Party take money from the for-profit health insurance companies, from Big Pharma, They also, by the way, take money from Wall Street, which is why many of them are for deregulation. Many of them take money from uh, the military industrial complex, which is why Elizabeth Warren, Raytheon is headquartered in her state. She's taking money from Raytheon. And would you look at that? She voted for a bunch of Trump's military budgets. Wow. So, um, yes, they're a center-right party, and uh, they're also pretty corrupt. Now, AOC is an exception to that rule. Ilhan Omar is an exception to that rule. Bernie Sanders is an exception to that rule, but generally speaking, you know, probably 90% of Democrats are taking money money they shouldn't be taking and doing the bidding of those donors. Now, the other example I wanted to give, because I think it like just, it's so perfectly encapsulates her point is Barack Obama. So Barack Obama is viewed and he's got a, he's got a decent approval rating, you know, um, and He's generally liked, but the thing I always said about him is he's one of the most successful Republican presidents of all time in the U.S. Obviously, you know, you go Abe Lincoln, number one, for obvious reasons, but um, the reason I say that is his ideology, just like she's pointing out right here. So Barack Obama, for those of you who don't know, he cut small business taxes about a dozen times. Now, you could like that or dislike it, but it's definitely a center or center right idea. He made 90% of the Bush tax cuts permanent. Could like it or dislike it, and I don't. That one I don't even think is that bad because it was the lower end that he made permanent. I'm fine with middle class tax cuts and working class tax cuts. Totally fine with that. But he did it. That's not exactly you know super left idea there. He um he pushed for and got implemented Mitt Romney's health care plan, Newt Gingrich's health care plan. A Heritage Foundation healthcare plan. That's a right wing think tank because that was their response to what the left position should be, which is Medicare for all, single payer. Their response was let's have a system where we keep the for profit health insurance companies in control. Let's have a system like that. And the way we do that is an individual mandate. So just mandate by law that people buy private insurance. That's what his healthcare plan is. Now, again, you could like it or dislike it. But it's a right-wing idea. Literally. It is a, it, the origin is a right-wing idea. And the only 
time that the Republicans abandoned it is when the Democrats took that position. So think of the Overton window, think of the Democrats running to the right, and then the Republicans responding by running even further right. So that's what happened. And there's other examples too. Barack Obama could have been anti-war, could have pulled out of Iraq, could have pulled out of Afghanistan, could have ended the, ended the wars. He didn't. He was a war manager, and he used what's called in the U.S. soft power. Soft power is, hey, maybe we'll have some boots on the ground, but it'll just be like advisors for people in the region for them to fight, but we're still going to be there. And also, we're going to use air power, we're going to use drone power, which he drastically escalated, by the way. These aren't left-wing ideas. Non-intervention is the left position. It's also the libertarian position. But he didn't do that. So when you go to the actual record, and I've just given, what, three examples there? I could go on all day, man. I have five, six, seven, eight different examples of Barack Obama being a very successful... He, most of his uh, years in office, he cut the deficit, just like Bill Clinton did. Center-right idea. <laughs> so he's a very successful center-right president. So when she says this, I mean, it's like, duh. When you follow the stuff, you follow it closely, like she has, she knows this stuff. That's why she says it. And when she gets in there and she's got all of Democratic leadership all the time demeaning her, putting her down, fall in line, fall in line, fall in line, what do you think she's going to... She's going to sit there, uh, yes, can I have another, please? Like just keep coming after me and keep disagreeing with me and keep downplaying my success and downplaying my ideology, she's going to keep it real and say, you know what? In a world that made sense, I would be part of the left party and the Democrats would be in a different party. Not even close to controversial in my book. I think she's 100% right and these comments are true.